So, Dr. Gardner, I think that in all of our pancreatic disease clinics, we're seeing more and more kids with pancreatitis. Can you comment on your thoughts of why this is happening? Mm -hmm. Great question, and I would echo your statements that, yeah, we are seeing more kids, and I think it has to do with, with several factors. I think, for one, we are recognizing the fact that kids get pancreatitis, and more and more when a child comes in with abdominal pain and they're complaining of this, we're not just saying, well, it's due from a virus or it's just gastroenteritis. gastroenteritis, right, and we're actually checking those blood tests that can actually help us make the diagnosis. So I think we're, we're, have, we're more prepared to make that diagnosis. But the other question is, are we seeing this more frequently? And, and I think the answer is, is yes. And why are we seeing that? Well, for one, we're recognizing that we're seeing more cases of biliary pancreatitis from the gallbladder. As our kids get a little bit heavier, unfortunately, they're developing some of the problems that adults are developing. So we're seeing more cases, I think, of, of gallbladder-induced pancreatitis. We're also, with our underlying uh, ability to detect genetic abnormalities, we're also testing uh, kids more and more uh, for genetic problems with, with pancreatitis. And this is especially true in, in, in very young children who are getting uh, pancreatitis. It's certainly true, we've heard stories of, of young children being told that they're drinking alcohol as a cause of their pancreatitis. And of course, this is, Frequently this is not hear the, that in right, the office. This is not the case, and it's an underlying genetic problem or a, or a bile duct problem. Um, so classically, we had heard that pancreatitis in children is really caused by viruses. Uh, and, and I think while that's still the case, they tend to have viruses as a cause, I think more and more we're seeing genetics, we're seeing biliary or gallbladder uh, disease, triglycerides, the mm -hmm. high fats uh, that, are, that are causing uh, this in, in children. You know, we typically treat children very similarly to the way we treat adults when they have acute pancreatitis, as far as hydrating the pancreas, not letting the kids eat, and uh, making sure their pain is, is well controlled. But I think it's really important for, for parents and, and doctors to recognize that kids do get pancreatitis. It's not because they're out drinking alcohol behind the house, and uh, that we really try to diagnose that condition when a child comes in with abdominal pain that we at least think that this could be pancreatitis. You know, and I totally agree. I think that's a very good answer. I would only like to add the fact that it's very, very important for us as physicians or for patients that may be listening to this uh, uh, interview, uh, how important it is the family history. If you have multiple family members that they have had pancreatitis for whatever reason, or family members that have that of pancreatic cancer, or any type of pancreatic condition, it's very, very important to ask or to mention that because particularly in kids, they may be a very strong genetic component that it's important to bring up.